Can we just stay here forever, please? Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 upcoming VR games. Road, Number 10, Fallout 4, VR edition. Dog me. Damn, dude! This one's pretty self-explanatory, but you'll soon be able to play Fallout 4 in virtual reality. The game is already immersive enough as it is, offering hundreds of hours of content and the freedom to roleplay any kind of character you want. Now, with virtual reality sport coming soon, you'll be able to take it to the next level. Oh, sorry, guys, that was you. That was me. Dude, sorry, whoever. We know it'll seem real enough fighting a deathclaw in virtual reality, but maybe the bugs these games are known for will even that out. Either way, try not to let it all go to your head, because Bethesda RPGs are notoriously addictive. Next time I have to watch someone's life story, I want popcorn. Number 9. The Hum Abductions Part horror game, part alien invasion simulator, yeah, you heard it right. The game plays like a mystery adventure puzzle, as the main character and you start to realize something sinister is going on. Using the stunning Unreal Engine 4, you'll be able to stare into those green faces in a lot of detail as they, ahem, probe you. Not only a horror experience, as a lot of VR horror games aren't, this one is narrative driven, which will make you push through your fear just to know what's gonna happen next. Number 8. Rock Band VR Even if it isn't what you wanted to be growing up, you can't deny that living the life of a rock star is pretty damn cool. Virtual reality is slowly allowing us to live out our dreams, to an extent, and Rock Band VR is undoubtedly going to be no exception. Already innovative by having us use controllers replicating instruments, a first-person virtual reality perspective is only going to add to the immersion, especially as your button prompts will be visible on your virtual guitar, and not on a giant bar covering the whole screen. Number 7. Ghost Theory Grandma. Horror and virtual reality seem to go hand in hand. It's scary enough as it is watching your screen from a meter away, but those wanting a pure adrenaline rush and pulse pounding experience can brave the virtual reality headset. This game seems absolutely terrifying, and we're counting on momentarily forgetting that it's just a game when we run for our lives from a creepy ghost lady. A horror experience that takes you around the globe, you'll be equipped with your own ghost hunting tools that paranormal researchers use in real life. Usually, we're the ones running away from the ghosts, but not this time. Well, maybe this time too. Number 6. Dreams Today we'd like to show you focusing on two things. Firstly, on characters. Um, hello, panda thing. The title of this game is very literal, as you'll have the tools to transport what's in your head onto the screen. From the developers of Little Big Planet, it follows the same general idea of creating something and sharing it, and playing other people's creations. Playing is a broad term, as what you'll be making doesn't actually have to be playable in a traditional sense. You'll have the options to create whatever you want, such as works of art, films, and anything else. Having each creation you load will always be a different experience, and that's the beauty and wonder of it. We can't wait to see what people come up with. Number 5. Psychonauts in the Rhombus of Ruin ah, Nothing like a little turbulence to get the bowels moving, am I right? The original Psychonauts was beloved by many fans and received critical acclaim. Released back in 2005, everyone's been dying for a sequel, and 10 years later, one was finally announced. Not only that, but shortly after, the plan to make a virtual reality Psychonauts was announced. The Rhombus of Ruin will take place right where the original left off, and will bridge the gap between the first and second games. Straying from the popular third-person platformer approach, the game will be a first-person with a focus on puzzle solving. If it's anything like the original, and it looks like it will be, we can't wait for the witty dialogue and quirky characters. Wow! So this is how Sasha sees the world. Well, not usually from so high in the air, but yes. Number 4. Star Trek Bridge Crew Captain's Log 
Stardate 2016.165. Starship USS Aegis is preparing for her maiden voyage. Become a member of the Federation and take your place on the bridge of a Starship fleet. What more could any Trek fan want? Starfleet Command has ordered us to rescue them... Captain. You'll be able to inhabit one of four roles, with the other roles going to your teammates. Not just a Star Trek sim, it's also a social experience, as every job is critical to the success of the mission. You'll need to communicate between one another to work out the best strategies to completing your objective. It'll be tough to come up with a singular decision, but you'll have to work together to get out of each situation alive. Six out of eighteen! <laughs> He's only got six men! Number three, Farpoint. This place is incredible. <laughs> What's your suit on those rocks? A triple-A first-person shooter set on a hostile alien planet sounds good enough as it is. Throw VR in there, and you most definitely have a winner, as long as it works. Designed to function with the upcoming PlayStation VR AIM controller, the game and controller just might be the revolution that first-person shooters need to adapt to virtual reality. Uh, if you look at the, the distance objects, like the enemies that you're engaging with, you can see all the details on them at, at distance as well, and that, that just really immerses you in that world even more. So far, this game seems to check all the boxes. Mysterious alien world to explore, intense combat, and quite possibly some awe-inspiring moments. Admittedly, we do have some concerns about the setup, since the controller does kind of look like a Wii zapper, but here's to hoping that developer Impulse Gear can learn from the mistakes of the past to shape the future. Pilgrim, can you read me? This is Dr. Tyson and Dr. Moon. Come back. Number two, Ace Combat 7. Don't lose him. If you're going to associate motion sickness with VR, it's bound to be connected with a flight combat simulator. It'll be one hell of a roller coaster ride, that's for sure. We can't imagine how exhilarating it's going to be to be soaring through the air at tremendous speed while simultaneously dodging enemy fire. I mean, will this be what the highway to the danger zone really feels like? With breathtaking graphics, competitive online modes, and an arsenal of high-powered modern weapons, Ace Combat 7 is aiming to be the ultimate air combat experience. Adios, you damn fool. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Number 1, Resident Evil 7. The master in the survival horror genre, Resident Evil returns to its roots in this latest entry. Well, sort of its roots, as it is first person, a first for the series, not including the rail shooters, of course. Regardless of camera position, though, the game looks horrifying. It has the same slow-paced gameplay we've been starved for, scarce ammo and eerie atmosphere. Oh, and puzzles. Actual puzzles. Not like an easy push-one-button puzzles from the latest entries. Welcome to the family, son. We can't wait to put our headsets on for this one, especially as it looks like it's set primarily in one location. This is going to bring back a lot of memories of the original. Remember, always keep at least one green herb on ya. Where do you think you're going? Do you agree with our list? Ah, who asked ya? Everybody knows squirrels have no sense of humor. Which upcoming virtual reality game are you most looking forward to? For more immersive top 10s published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Again? Just don't be surprised if we have to make a change.